Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all an update to my Greed On Cardfight Vanguard Overdress deck profile for post awakening of Chakrabarthi. The Greed On deck is a Dark States pressure type of deck that focuses on the sole power of Greed On himself to hit for some restanding numbers, additional drive checks, additional power, you name it. It's a deck that focuses, like I said, on the Vanguard for some pretty big powerhouse plays. Big thanks to my buddy Anthony for letting me borrow the deck for the profile. I feel Feel like it is one of the under supported decks along with Flagberg and Gravidia just because they came out during set three and they haven't had as much support as some of the other decks that came out from the earlier sets but hopefully we'll get some more support from them in the future sets that definitely help to make them some pretty competitive decks compared to all the other ones so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck for our starter we're running Desire Devil Tida one wrote upon if you went second draw a card just the most fitting one that goes with all of the greed on cards including the desire devil goman when this unit is wrote upon by desire devil bushoku you can reveal a avisurous demonic dragon greed on from your ride deck and draw one card so it's just a guaranteed draw one since you will have greed on in your ride deck and also when this card is put from rear into your soul by your vanguard's ability if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater counter plus one in this unit until end of turn when your opponent would call a card from their hand to the card circle they must call two or more there's a lot of guard restrictions and other setup that this deck is meant to do with the grade two being desire devil bushoku when this unit is wrote upon by uh greed on you put a card from your hand into your soul search your deck for a card with the same card name as this card reveal it put it into your hand and shuffle your deck it just gives you more setup uh very very useful and with the other soul option during your turn if your damage zone has four or more cards the a vicious demonic dragon greed on on your vanguard gets plus five thousand. we run additional bushoku just so we can hit these power pluses so it's very very useful for that setup since building up a lot of soul it is meant to be done with our main go-to grade three greed on along with the copy we are running in the ride deck we are also running three additional copies in the main deck on vanguard if your soul has an avaricious demonic dragon greed on the number of cards in your damage zone for you to lose becomes seven and on the vanguard circle at the end of the battle this unit attacked you can soul blast uh you basically soul blast two and put four standing rear guards in your soul and stand this uh, vanguard if your soul has 10 or more cards it gets plus 15,000 to end of turn so you can hit some pretty big numbers with this card but the pressure all comes down to just being able to put the four rear guards into your soul re-standing and then being able to attack again with this card having no negative consequences for any minus drives that some of the other vanguards that when they restand in this game get for some of the other backup grade threes that i run in the deck from the newest set i'm also running three of the desire devil wisure uh from the soul when a very uh, avaricious i always mess that up demonic dragon greed on is placed on your vanguard you counter plus one and call this card to rear guard so it's from the soul it's good for the added setup when you would place this card from the first ride of greed on into the soul and then you persona ride again getting just a rear guard that you used for the cost the previous turn so you can save on hand cost uh with this card so you have that additional card to then just be put into the soul again and then call out again after you attack with greed on the other grade three that i run in the deck is also three additional desire devil gametsu on rear guard once per turn if your vanguard is avaricious demonic dragon greed on counter blast one discard a card from your hand choose a grade three or less card from your soul and call it to rear so you have more of those plays with the option of the other grade threes we're running or if you have the multiple greed ons because you do want to keep one greed on in your soul so you at least have the seven damage uh you know path and obstacle that your opponent will have to get over for the grade twos running three additional bishoku uh when this unit is wrote upon we have the greed on play but from the soul during your turn if your damage zone has four more cards the avaricious dragon greed on on your vanguard gets plus five we spoke about before at the ride deck just having additional copies of this card in the soul just makes it more of a powerhouse for your opponent to block against greed on and making up for those additional plus five shields that some of their triggers may get against the grade three vanguard some of the other new units from set four we're running three desire devil uh keenan when this unit is placed on rear guard during your main phase counter plus one look at the top card of your deck called to rear and at the end of that turn retire that called unit but you're not really going to have that unit on the field more than likely it's going to be in greed on soul after using it for the cost of restanding your vanguard so you won't miss out on that and it just gives you an additional uh rear guard for you to make use of just for the cost of a counter blast greed on doesn't cast any counter blast you can maybe 
all of that for your Keenan and some of the other cars we run, including the grade one, which we're getting on to next, which is Desire Devil Bubetsu on rear guard once per turn. When your other rear guard is put into your soul by your Vanguard's ability, counter boss one, choose a card from your hand, call it to an open rear guard. If your soul has 10 or more cards, you draw a card. So it's a once per turn option, giving you the additional rear guard plays uh, when your other rear guard is put into your soul by your Vanguard's ability. So being able to just to have that additional card in your hand can give you the additional rear guard that can attack on the field. And I really only run two Bubetsu because you just need to set the one up on the field. You have to put four cards into the soul. So as long as you leave Bubetsu out in the field, you can then at least have this card to reuse constantly with your greed on. It'll really only really come down to the resource to use for the uh, soul power up of greed on if you need those cards. But most of the time you will want to leave Bubetsu out to have that additional card to call from your hand to the field to get multiple attacks because multiple attacks are definitely needed for this deck to compete with the other ones in the format. And I also run three Desire, Devil, and Kane. There's definitely a lot of random numbers in this deck, but with the soul buildup and all that, they all work very, very well together. With N Kane, when this unit is placed on rear, if you Persona Road this turn, Soul Charge 1. When this unit is placed from rear into your soul for your Vanguard's ability, Counter Blast 2, choose one of your Vanguards, it gets plus 5,000 and drive plus 1 to end a turn. It is definitely a heavy cost card with cards like Kennen and Bubetsu also casting Counter Blast. Like I said, thank goodness that uh, Greedom doesn't count any, it cost any Counter Blast, but I only run three and Kane. I feel it's all you need for the Counter Blast 2, and there's still a better option for when it's put into the soul, because then you won't be able to use it too, too often with the multiple counter blasts that you get and i also run three uh, additional uh monsters for the grade one counts i also run four gungram for more soul charge buildup if you wanted to reduce the number of gungram and add in more bubetsu that's what you can do for this play but like i said i'm happy with the results of the bubetsu too just for the option of having it on the rear guard to use gungram at least gives us some draw power along with the soul blast of three but also providing a soul charge of one if we need for greed on while keeping the other greed on grade three in the soul and lastly to desire devil yada when your vanguard attacks if you have three or more stood units retire this unit soul charge two choose up to one card with the same name as your vanguard from your soul and put it on the top of your deck this is another card you could potentially take out for bubetsu but it's more recycle setup being able to then choose a card with the same name as your vanguard and put it on the top of your deck meaning you can also reuse your greed ons with this card so more of a saver grade one that also gives you more setup for the the soul charge and then lastly i run the four uh sentinels which are the recusal hate dragon just the preferred one for the additional hand cost to ha not having to discard if there's only one other card in your hand and being able to save the other perfect guard if your opponent gets an over trigger having the million power to block against means you at least have a guarantee against that and then for the trigger lineup, I'm running eight criticals. So four of the Steam or uh, Stem Deviate Dragon and four of the Flinty Slasher. The criticals definitely do come up with pressure when you're just restanding and reattacking with Greed on. So I went with the eight in total, with the next trigger being the three draw trigger. Since you don't normally have other rear guards to benefit from the front trigger, I find the newest draw trigger, Ruse Wildmaster Riley, to be the best fit with the additional guard options. And also four of the heal trigger with this deck. Um, but it doesn't matter, not particularly. Just running the Ariana since it was the one at choice. And then lastly, the one over trigger, which is the Hades Dragon Deity, uh, Galmaga Held. With the plus 10 critical, if you get this early game, it definitely provides more strength and power for your Greedon to use against your opponent. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Green On, like I said, is definitely a deck that focuses a lot on the Vanguard pressure, but with the new units like Bubetsu we got from the latest set four, it helps with the multiple attacks because you have to put four into the soul to use Greedon, but you can at least make up for some of those units placed in by being able to call other ones out and then also making up for recycling your Greedon because the Persona Ride and additional options with Greedon definitely provide the answers needed to make this deck pretty viable against what we have currently in the format. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.